Okay, my um, tube coupler is dry right now. And what I've done is put it inside of this tube just so that everything is nice and straight and it's sliding in really nice. So now we're on step 10 and we're gonna take uh, ring A and ring A gets glued and it will only go in one direction. There's a, there's a, a tab here on the top of the ring and that's going to go into that right there. And you want the A side facing the sled. Um, so now do a test fit. And if it needs it, go ahead and lightly sand the outside so that it will slide in because it's a, it's a tight fit. Uh, but once you get it in, it'll go in like that. Make sure it's nice and flush. Uh, you can see just like that. And then we're going to glue it in place using thin super glue. all around the perimeter. And we'll go ahead and do the outside as well. Um, and then also at this point, we want to put CA glue into that, uh, the gap between the two couplers. And if there's any glue that gets on the outside, go ahead and wipe that off because we don't want it to uh, to have a high spot so that it won't slide in and out of the tube easily. All right, so that is up to uh, step 11. Uh, so we're gonna put that aside to dry. And then we're gonna take our uh, motor mount tube and a ruler, and we wanna mark the tube uh, one and the 16th inch from one end and a quarter inch from the other end. Okay, so on the quarter, uh, quarter inch line, we're going to put a slot, and this is for the engine hook. So here's the engine hook. You'll see on the engine hook, um, it's got a crimped end, and then one end that's just a 90 degree bend, and it'll take that 90 degree bend and put it into the slot right there. And we're gonna take our green centering ring, slide it over the tube, and it's gonna get glued right up against that, um, the line, right like that. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there. And you wanna do this work fairly fast Slide it right up there like that. Any glue that oozes out, wipe it off because we're gonna put another ring right up against there here in just a second. All right. <sighs> okay, from um, the cardstock sheet, remove ring J, which I've gone ahead and done. Um, and you can see that there's a couple of those little tabs right there, knock those out as well. And when we glue ring J on, and this is the important part here, um, the J part should be facing forward. Um, so on our uh, engine mount, um, this end here is the back. So we want the J facing forward towards the front of the tube. And you'll notice there's a little slot right there for the engine hook to go into just like that. And that's gonna be glued up there just like that. So slide that back a little bit and put some glue in there. All right, and then we can wipe off any excess. All right, then we're gonna take the blue engine block ring, and that's gonna get glued right up into that tube, right up against the uh, the tab that comes through on the engine hook. Um, so just put a little bit of glue in there and spread it around. And then slide it in just like that. All right. 
Okay, I'm going to let that pause here for just a second. All right, so next we're going to take the frames F and G from the cardstock sheet. And we're going to test fit them. All right, so on step 16, we're going to take F and G, these um, frames, and we're going to test fit them onto the eBay sled itself, not onto the engine mount. We're going to test fit them here. The uh, F one will go on the top like this, and G will go in there like that. And eventually, it's going to go into these slots here. So I'm just verifying that I got my directions on my slots all working out. And now I'm going to glue it up using thin super glue. I'm going to do F first. And you can run it along that um, wood joint right there. Okay. All right, that's going good. All right. Now, we're going to take ring H. Slide ring H onto frames A, F, and G. Ensure that the ring sits flat on the, on the ledges of the frames F and G and E, F, and G, and secure the ring by running thin CA glue. All right, so. These two will slide in there like this, and it slides all the way down, and you'll see that there's a, a slot in the tab that goes there as well. Make sure everything is fits. And there's also a, a slot and a tab on the plywood. Just like that. That looks great. So once it's dry fit, again, thin CA glue, just to run along all the joints. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay. All right, that's step to 19. I'm going to hit this with um, some accelerator just because I don't want it to uh, stick to me because <laughs> that happens in every video that I do. <laughs> All right, so now I'm on step 19. We're going to take the engine mount, and again, we're going to line it up with the slot. So these little tabs here on these frames are going to go, you know, the engine hook or the engine tube goes into the ring. So get that started first. There we go. Oops, I had it. A little snug right there, which is what's causing me issues. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now if for any reason um, 
your green ring is out of place, don't worry about it too much because um, these two centering rings are going to center everything up um, just nicely. Um, this is just basically a spacer. Um, so allow the ejection gas to come out of the top of the engine mount. Um, and then it's going to go into that hole right there. And it's going to run along the bottom of the sled. And it has to do a zigzag. Um, actually, it comes here. Um, comes around this side and then comes back here and out this hole right there. Um, and then basically what this does here, this, this board, um, we're going to take the little straw here in a, just a second and that's going to get glued in there like that. And this board right here protects the straw from getting burned because the igniter needs to run through there. Um, and we just want to protect it so that it, um, it can slide in and out between flights. Um, we don't want it after the first flight to burn because then it will be really hard to get an igniter down from the eBay into the motor. So once I get this, uh, we're going to glue it all up again using thin CA. And then don't forget around the front of the engine mount tube itself. Here, like that. All right, so now we're on step 20. We're going to slide the igniter tube. And that's this little, it looks like a launch lug, but it's a little bit flimsier. <clears throat> um, that's going to go through the hole here. Just kind of spin it as it's going through so you don't kink it. And it's kind of tight. Ah. I've got a file, but I don't have the right, I don't have my round file. I got a, a diagonal file or a triangular file. Just kind of spin it through there. Just kind of loosen it up just a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to slide that through, and then there's also a hole in the uh, plywood bulkhead. Trying to loosen it up so it slides easy in easily. There we go. <laughs> now it's gotta get this out. Okay, so then just center it up the best you can. It's not too critical. It doesn't have to be flush on either end. Um, once you get it in place, just kind of just tack it in place with super glue at all three locations. And that will allow us to slide an igniter through. All right, so we're gonna pause here because this is a good part because now we got our engine mount done. I think this thing's a work of art. Um, and I hope that uh, <laughs> you would appreciate the engineering that went into this. Um, I am just so impressed by this. So this is really great. So we'll be back in the next time and we'll start uh, working on the rest of the rocket.